What a difference a day makes 24 little hours Fucking lovely Right, on today's musings of a madman Right, so, musings of a madman um, I was out shopping yesterday for welding rods, chicken food and then supermarket shopping round Aldi's um, all will become clear on the welding rods, a bit of a scrap heap challenge, but I was walking around Aldi's and it suddenly dawned on me that I had overlooked something and it is the one thing I do not like about the JK BMS is where you've got the two power leads in and out, you know the battery minus and the power minus um, so that's the one thing that I really like about the Dali BMS. It already comes with a nice big beefy terminal crimped on two gauge wire. Yeah, two AWG wire, which is uh, 35 mil. Yeah. Um, whereas the da whereas the JK BMS, you've got the two piddly little cables. Um, so the problem that that gives me is. When I come to the breaker, what I overlooked is up the arse end of it into the terminal connection. Is how do you get two lugs onto the one doodah? So they would have to be overlapped like so and at a pissy angle. Um, and I'm not a big fan of that. So I have this five mil plate aluminum. So what I am going to do is I am going to fashion out some bus bars so that the two ring lug terminals, two ring lug terminals side by side like so, and they do fit in there um, so I'll do a plate that's the full width of that and then I'll have two battery terminal or two terminals coming from the JK BMS I like so and it is the same situation with what would be the main terminal there is that I'll end up with one lead out at an angle there and another lead like an angle there with the two overlapped so again I'll machine a bus bar out of that as long as with the thickness conveniently there's already some holes drilled into it being careful as long as I have the stud length as long as I have the stud length for a balance lead and a nut. Uh, so that it can take the battery minus leads of that uh, the ring lugs, ring lugs either side of the terminal post with a little bit of support underneath it to take the strain off. Um, so you yeah, have all the things to pop in your head when you're walking around a supermarket. The other is a side in fact of location of the BMS into a breaker is the length of the balance leads da, 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 da. where are we is the length of the balance leads um, I'm not going to be able to do this one-handed so furthest out of reach there is so I'm not sure ah, right so put you over there so hopefully you can see Yeah, that's already quite 
tight um, onto a proposed dividing wall um, where to mount the switch gear and annoyingly the temperature leads are even shorter so if the BMS goes here so if the BMS goes here the temperature leads will be right up near the front of the pack but the especially once you try and get them down deeper so they're quite uh, they're quite a hindrance maybe probably the other thing that I've got to bear in mind and consideration is that I wanted all of the weight centralized so the battery still needs to go that way probably by a good six inches um, which is going to take more of my slack on my leads out of the equation so um, leaning towards a gear tray um, and what I'll probably do is 3D print a cover if I haven't got anything kicking around that way the battery pack is modular and self-contained with BMS breaker and then it will just be tails off to bus bar and then off to inverter and that way if disaster strikes and the shelf ever collapses um, all of the strain would come through the nicely strongly mounted breaker and the leads off to the bus bar um, instead of if it's on the dividing wall then the strain is going to go into and it collapses then the strain is going to go onto the JK BMS um, but shouldn't have any collapses because underneath that shelf's going to end up chock a block full of shit no doubt so ah, as I said musings of a madman lots to bloody think about and scratching my head <laughs> right 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 it is too nice a day outside that lot can wait until dark o'clock uh, scrap heap challenge time scrump up some materials cool to be continued <laughs> here we go bye bye Nearly. Ended in disaster. <laughs> Let's squash the camera. Ah, oh, that's the last of that I'm going to see for a while. The weather forecast is to turn rather shitty for the next few days. So that wasn't a bad afternoon, few hours scrumping for scrap. There lies an old uh, trailer tent chassis. Uh, and there's some chassis rails from a caravan. Um, there's rails from the gum tree specials that I've got left over. Uh, and there's some various bits of ironmongery that's left over from, I think that's an old garage roof. And there we have redundant weightlifting equipment. So that's some good square box section steel there and then i've got some tube small off cuts all good for diagonal bracing these oh, that was uh washing line those three poles there that was washing line out of my daughter's back garden
washing line. That's how windy it gets in Scotland. They don't build things like they used to, that's for fucking sure. <coughs> so the chickens are out having fun, keeping all the weeds down, I spread the food out along there and they've knocked all the tufts down and keeping it down and clean nicely. Inspecting me, hey Petra, is it good enough? Right, good. So the plan is would be triangular type things top, middle and bottom, 45 degree triangle, sort of like a roof truss and then the long rails like that, like so, lots of bracing and then on the base there'll be um, like a platform to take loads of ballast because here lies an old coal mining village that our houses are built on. The old coal mining village, um, the long story behind it, but everything ended up just being demolished and swept into my back garden. So that's all, I mean, I pick out bricks like they're fucking potatoes, honestly. It's soul destroying. Um, and I've got bloody great curbstones as well. So that can all go in the base and weigh the sucker down so as i said the next couple of days the weather forecast is to turn rather shitty so it's nice to make the most of a break in the weather whilst i could and so i've got plenty of rainy day jobs to be doing but a little bit further on than i was yesterday and that's good enough for me. Dave is still looking like shit. It's really, really scruffy because all of the testosterone's gone out of his system. He's no longer cock-a-doodle-doing and shagging everything. Uh, still molting. Ginger feathers everywhere. But apart from that, the flock's really quite happy. So, yeah. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see how this goes. Thanks very much. Look after yourselves and each other. It's going to be a lovely, lovely sunset.